Oh, you guys can see me. Um, let me just start on Facebook as well. Um, so I'm going to be sharing this as a watch party on Facebook. So if you're watching this on Facebook, uh, please share. Like, like Chef Dave always says, tolong share so that all your friends and people will be able to benefit from this as well. So let me do that. And then we can start off because I haven't shared like a watch party for a long time. Your voice clear. Yay. Thank you. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Just give me a minute. I'm actually making um, dinner. So I thought I'll just do that. Yeah. My head gets cut off, doesn't it? It's so weird on Facebook. But on the thing, I can see it. Hello, hello, Aisha, hello, Sebo, Krum, Maima, hello, Christian, hi, Janelle, how's everybody doing today? I am super hungry right now. I wasn't just now, but now I'm hungry. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, I'll put on my, um, I'll put on my gloves. I am Raw Chef Yin, Raw Vegan Chef, Educator, Author, Course Creator, <laughs> TEDx Speaker, uh, Vegan Influencer I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah, but today because I had sprouted my beetroots, if you can see here, and um, I also have been sent the beetroot powder from Organic Hill Superfoods, I thought We'll make some beetroot hummus. Hello, Ivy Kwan. Yeah, so, um, yeah, this is the beetroot powder. Um, so what we have is, what I'm going to use today is the sprouted uh, chickpeas. And, oh yeah, let me talk a bit about my, can you see the sprouts? I'm so excited. Like, here, 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 here. Like, oh my god, look at it, it's sprouting. Like, here are the two sprouts. Yeah, yeah, so um, I basically soaked it and then rinsed it and then soaked it and then rinsed it. So yeah, so that's the, the sprouts. And then um, we're going to use this beetroot powder from Organic Kill Superfoods. It's a new product. Um, if you order online, if you're in Malaysia and Singapore and you order online, uh, use my discount code, Chef Yin. It's very easy, C-H-E-F-Y-I-N. And um, you get your ten percent off. Good. I am good evening. Just reading your email on <laughs> inflammatory diet. Haha. <laughs> Anti-inflammatory actually. Yeah. Roshef Yin hit still a bit cut off on FB. I know. It's okay. I'm not gonna. I don't think I want to adjust it anymore. I think my head is cut off. Is fine. I think. Yeah, that's fine. Um. <laughs> yeah. I I'm always using my code. Yay. Yeah, so um, oh, let me show you the what it looks like, the beetroot. The red is so beautiful. Or oh, pink. Is it pink? Red? Pink? Purple? But yeah, that's the beetroot powder. Yeah, and so we'll be using a bit of that. And, ooh, I can smell it from here. Mm. Mm. I like the smell. Mr. Jess guitarist doesn't like the smell at all whatsoever. And then um, we're also going to use this Marylebone. Um, uh, coconut oil. Usually, traditionally in hummus, we use olive oil. But since I have this and it's cold press organic uh, coconut oil, I'm just going to use this instead. Plus, I like the coconutty taste in my hummus, funnily enough. Yeah. Uh, I said just received my. Oh, yay! So you got your new products. Awesome. I which one do you get? Because they have five new products, right? So, yeah, let us know which one you get. Oh, hi, Amir. Good to see you. Yeah, have you finished work? Yeah. And then um, usually in in hummus, they, we use tahini. I've said that I don't have tahini. Well, I do have sesame seeds, which I can actually make into tahini. But I had some almond butter, like homemade ground almond butter. So I'm just going to use that. Yeah. I said whole set except the seeds. Ah, okay, okay. All right. So you got like the turmeric, you got the beetroot, 
uh, what else was it already? I can't remember. So you did you get the like the so you didn't get the pumpkin seeds, but you got the pumpkin protein. Oh, the cinnamon! Yeah, the cinnamon is awesome. Yeah, I got cinnamon as well. Okay. Uh, hello, Felin Lin. Fe Felin Lin. Yeah. Hi. Uh, yeah. So um, and then I'm gonna use some lemon juice. So we're gonna squeeze lemon. I'm also gonna use the lemon zest. Yeah. And then um, I'm also gonna put in some salt, depending some Himalayan pink salt, if depending on the taste. I also want to put some nutritional yeast as well in it. You know, I saw people putting nutritional yeast, and I was like, oh yeah, why not? I have it. So I'm gonna put that in. Yeah, I say cinnamon, pumpkin protein, all from Organic Hill, and using my discount code. Eee. Hi, Adelaide Liu. Thanks for joining. We're gonna make um, beetroot hummus. And then, oh yeah, Polycom sent me this to try. So I am using um, this. This is made from, let me see what's in it. There's curry leaf, urad dal, chana dal, coriander seed, uh, cumin, cashmere chili, sesame seed, pepper, rock salt, and esophatida. So I'm going to uh, sprinkle this into the hummus as well. It's going to be cool. Hello, Crave Vig uh, Crave. Crave ganache. I want, always want to call you like Crave Vegan Ganache and then I realized that no, it's not, it, it's Crave Ganache. So I'm using Polycom as well. Um, ooh, how do we put all this in one row? And then um, there's garlic. I'm using one garlic clove. If you don't use garlic, you can obviously omit to that as well. You know, no problem. And then, yeah, and then for garnish, I'm gonna put, um, I have my homemade vegan cheese. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put some vegan cheese in it and I'm going to put some microgreens as well. Yeah, on top. So why? Yeah. Yeah, Ayn says wow. <laughs> uh, Sam Lama. Hi Sam. Yeah, so for um, the vegan cheese, if you're wondering how to make it, you have two options. I have my, um, I have a vegan cheese ebook, which you can get fun with vegan cheese. Um, so Mr. Jazz guitarist will put in the links for all of that and then um, I also have a vegan cheese course as well so if you want something with more guidance and um, that's very healthy that one has like uh, that one is nut free oil free soy free dairy free vegan cheese so I have a, a vegan cheese course as well so you can do that that's yeah, so um, for Instagram, the links are all in my link in bio. But I think when Mr. Jess Guitarist is free, he can put up the links to the cheese courses and cheese ebooks. Um, yeah, Facebook, uh, yeah, as if you can put it up, would be great. And then, um, yeah, so I have the cheese ebook and the cheese course if you want to make your own cheese. So that's that. Ooh, ooh! Um, what I'm going to do first is, so I told you the list of ingredients already. And yeah, very simple, just blend it all up in your food processor. I'm using my Thermomix today, so um, I'm just going to put these all inside the food processor. Okay, so I'm just going to put it, ooh, what is this here? I thought I cleaned it already. It's just chocolate, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so that's that, and then, um... I want to put in the lemon zest into the hummus as well, so I'll just zest it right in. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There are the links. Thank you. Hi, Marilyn Group. Good to see you. Okay, let me make sure your things are all like in proper. So today we're using the beetroot and. We're using this, which I cannot really see, but yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so just zesting it with the microplane. Uh, if anybody's wondering where I got the microplane from, it was from Kitchen Shop. They were having a sale one of those times. Oh, the Christmas sale. Yeah, 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 Christmas sale. So I got that. Really good. A bit on the expensive side. I think it was like 75 or something. But then it was like a 25% discount, I think. So. so that's okay. Plus, I use it all the time, so that's really cool. Yeah. And this microplane works better than a normal grater. 
Yeah, it's greater than a normal greater. <laughs> Get my joke? <laughs> yeah. Trying to make sure that I get a little bit of the skin in the the lemon zest, but you don't want to get the white parts in because it will be um, bitter. Although I can eat like bitter stuff all the time, no problem. Because I used to have eczema and um, I used to have eat all sorts of horrible bitter food as medicine. Which never cured me. The moment I became raw vegan, that was the cure. Which is why I am so convinced about this whole raw vegan journey. Uh, and raw vegan lifestyle. I don't really want to call it a diet because it doesn't sound like a diet. It doesn't feel like a diet to me. I mean, my life has just been like way better ever since I became raw vegan. So it's like, why would you call it a diet? Yeah. Hi Uber Arjun. Hello Sam Bakda. Hello beautiful nothing and vegan Fiji and uh, I what I see la healthy for you. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to cut. Oh, let's put this here and you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut the lemon. Yeah. I almost probably put in half a lemon. So I'm just eyeballing this. So, um, and then we'll just taste it to see how it's like. Yeah, I actually have a number of hummus recipes which I just posted on my Facebook and my Instagram. I think for Facebook, you just need to, um, in the search bar, you just type Raw Chef Yin hummus and then you'll find it. For Instagram, it's kind of harder. So I suppose if you're on Facebook, just look for that. Sometimes I share the hummus recipes with my um, e-newsletter subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed and you don't mind getting like daily emails from me, um, then you can sign up for my e-newsletter. The link is again in the bio. Um, and I'm sure Mr. Jazz Guitarist will put the E newsletter link as well. Um, yeah, so I give you guys recipes, subscriber discounts, but sometimes um, then there also be a lot of promotional emails, and there'll be rents as well. So you can put out all that then. Yeah. Okay, so let's like I don't know whether you can see. So anyway, that's my lemon juice. So we will pour that in. Okay, I'm a bit bothered with my ice cream. I made a. Uh, Chocolate ice cream just now. I thought I washed it off, but apparently I didn't. So let me just clean this. And now I'll be like, ah, why does it look like this? Ah. Okay. Hello, Tan Xiao Chong. How are you, Tan Xiao Chong? I haven't seen you in ages and ages and ages. Tan Xiao Chong used to be my like head school prefect in Sekolah Menengah Sipak. Okay, I'm putting garlic. So one clove of garlic goes in. Um, ah, let's put in the beetroot powder. Uh, I'll put in one, hmm, I think I'll just put in two teaspoons. Initially, I thought I'll put in one, then I was like, you know what, I like beet. And there's, um, the, the sprouts are about 316 grams of sprouted chickpeas, so let's put in, yeah, that's what it looks like. This is from Organic Kill Superfoods, if you just join. Use my discount code Chef Yin to get it. They've got new products out. Um, ah, and then we'll put in a bit of the oil, the coconut oil. So I'm putting this in. Yeah. Oh, this one also got discount code. This one, um, Marla Bone, if you are in Singapore, then you can use the discount code Chef Yin and get it from the Eat Rome Live website. If you are in Malaysia, you can get it from the Just Fruit stores. Okay, so I put in about a tablespoon. Usually people put more, but I think I, um, I'm i quite... Well, I'll put in a bit and then we'll see what it's like and taste it and see how I know. Yeah, 
So that's what it is. Uh, Amir, Sayyid Hamas and uh, Mutabal are the best. Oh, what is Mutabal? Huh. Yeah. Hi, hi. Um, I actually don't know how to pronounce your name. Is it Regula? Regula? Regular? <laughs> Hello, Miss R. I will call you Miss R. <laughs> Glad you can join us today. And you're like coming out live. Okay, so now I'm going to put the almond butter. Like I said, usually it's tahini. But I don't have tahini with me today. And I'm such a hoarder. So I have... Um, I have sesame seeds, which means I can actually put in sesame seeds, but I'm like, oh, I made this almond butter and I don't know how long it'll last. No, I don't know how long it lasts. Like, I should use it up before that. Then I thought like, oh, okay, well, I'll just use almond butter in the hummus instead. So yeah, I'll put that in as well. And everything is just eyeball, but maybe like four tablespoons of that. So it's about a quarter cup. Yeah. Hello, Jaspal. Jaspal Raw. At official, yeah. Uh, Uba Rajan always giving opinions. Secret of being raw taste just rinse blender with water. So like nasi panda reuse. Bobo continues this. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll have ice cream with the hummus. Chocolate, chocolate ice cream with the hummus. Yeah, <laughs> that will be quite cool. Um, ah, just a bit of Himalayan pink salt. Yeah, so I'll put that in just a teeny weeny bit. And then we'll see what it's like. Oh, uh, that's podicum. Yeah, I'm quite excited to use my podicum. That's my podicum. This is the one with the curry leaf. Love at first sprinkle. So thanks podicum for sending this. I'm most probably going to put like all of it in. This is about a teaspoon of it. Yeah, because there's not much left already. I've used this so many times. Yeah. Okay, I'm quite excited. Mmm, this smells so good. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, so we have bodycomb as well. Can I make this stand up? And then, oh no, I've discovered I can't see the thing. Okay. <laughs> Trying to figure out how all my sponsored products can, like. <laughs> Why are you blocking this? Okay. Um. And then just a bit of nutritional yeast. You don't need to, but I'm just gonna put it a bit. Otaba is made from eggplant, tahini, garlic, lemon juice. Ooh, this sounds good. Eggplant, tahini, garlic, lemon juice, and pomegranate seeds. That sounds like the eggplant reminds me of Baba Ganesh. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of nutritional yeast. You don't need to, but um, why not? Uh, I did a video for Signature Market some time ago and they gave me the nutritional yeast and I'm still using it, so I might as well just use it. Uh, and then, yeah! Okay, cool! We will blend it all up, process it. Where is my cover? Okay, cover. Can you see the pink? Yeah, so I'm going to scrape it down a bit more. And after scraping it, then we should taste it. Always, always taste. Okay, 
So, do you guys like your hummus um, smooth or chunky? Are you team smooth or team chunky? Because I'm team chunky actually. I don't know. But then I think in the photo, smooth looks better. Okay, I'm going to taste this. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna put more of the lemon. Mmm. I think it needs a bit more lemon because I have the other lemon. We'll put in like one whole lemon. So I'm gonna squeeze the lemon in. Just planning to use up the whole lemon anyway, so that'd be good. It's quite nice. The beetroot taste doesn't taste like too strong. It's not overpowering, so that's quite good. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this. Is it one? Anything to be dropping into my precious beetroot powder. There you go. So that goes in. Um, I think that's enough. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't think it needs anything. I don't think it needs to be sweeter or saltier. I'm fine. that my Facebook is like only 10% left okay we should end it when it's 5% yeah but yeah so that's what it is what I'm gonna show you is um hi games vegan cakes uh Asamat says gotta go for stitching now okay bye Asamat uh regular says chunky yeah okay so I am going to scoop this out so you can see how pretty it is. Let me do that. Um, yeah, let me do that. There you go. Yeah, I didn't... I put in just a touch, like a tablespoon of the coconut oil. If you want it to be more creamier, then you can add that in as well. Um, but yeah, I like mine like super Ooh. The color is gorgeous You can see how gorgeous the color is Ooh, nice Okay So This is the thing Let me see if I can Make it look chonche chonche And then, what I want to do is, I have these microgreens, and I'm going to sprinkle on some hemp hearts as well. Hemp hearts. Yeah. And, I'm also going to put a bit of the cheese base. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh yeah, if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, please follow me on Instagram. If you haven't liked me on Facebook yet, please like me on Facebook. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, okay, I'm gonna sprinkle on the ham hearts. Ubarajan, who's nice? Remind her Indian coconut candy, yeah. Oh, I love, I used to love eat, eating those Indian coconut candies. They're super sweet, but I love the co uh, Yeah, I need to make a raw vegan version of that. I know they usually use milk in that, but I'm sure you can find non dairy milk. My vegan passion. Hello, my vegan passion. Yeah. Hello, Ma Johnson. Hello, Loy. Good to see you, Loy. Okay, so we've, we've used the hemp hearts. We're going to put the microgreens on top as well. And then I actually wanted to put in, yeah, some chunks of the cheese base. 
So yeah, just sprinkle on a bit of the cheese to make it even. Oh, I forgot to save some of the um, the I wanted to save some of the the um chickpeas actually the spiral chickpeas to put it on top as well, but I didn't so never mind. But yeah, there you go. That's your beetroot hummus. So um, let me just quickly do a summary. We put in sprouted uh, chickpeas. If you're wondering how to do the sprouting, you can check out the um, guided meal plan. Seven days of raw food with seven raw food chefs. The whole process on how to do the sprouting is there. And then there's also beetroot powder from Organic Hill Superfoods. Use my discount code CHEFYIN to get your savings. Um, I've also put in the marlebone coconut oil spread instead of olive oil uh, so you should eat this immediately and not put it in the fridge if not it will be hard enough yeah and then um, I've also put in almond butter in replacement of tahini there's lemon juice one whole lemon there's lemon zest um, there's also just a pinch of salt I've also put in the curry pack curry pack I guess it's called curry pack curry pack potticom and um, there was also garlic and there was also a bit of nutritional yeast yeah so um, for Facebook I'm gonna end now for Instagram I might talk a bit more <laughs> maybe a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes more but yeah I think Facebook I will just end because I'm afraid like the computer might just like turn off and uh, the iPad might just turn off and die so bye Facebook I'll see you guys